earlier this week I was weeding my flower beds and it got me thinking, should I actually be weeding at all? Let me explain what I mean. So just by way of a bit of background, these flower beds are fairly new. We dug them a couple of years back after some building work. They've been heavily compressed with a storage container, sat on them for many months, and we haven't really done a tremendous amount with them. We stuck a few plants in, but to all intents and purposes, it's just really bare soil. And recently we've been really busy. You know how it is, things get put off. You don't stay on top of it and then all of a sudden weeding becomes a big deal which is what really happened here. So I was out there on my hands and knees weeding away and a couple of things struck me. So one of the really positive things I saw was that where there were weeds there were lots of roots binding the soil together and that's great because especially in the exposed areas it means that there will be something holding the soil together to stop it eroding away. And given that these beds are on a gentle slope, that's really useful. So I looked at kind of various clods and could see how tightly bound it was with lots of roots mixed through. So the takeaway here is, if you're not growing any plants or crops, maybe let the weeds have a little run of the patch for the time being because they'll protect it and hold it all together before you come in and start your cultivations. And that brings me on to my next point about the uses of weeds, which is they help keep the soil active. Now I've mentioned this before in some of my other videos that in order for things to change in the soil, microbiologically speaking, there needs to be some plant in there growing, pushing those exudates, communicating, talking to the life in the soil, in order for changes to happen. So if you're not growing anything in your soil, you could consider to some degree weeds as a useful cover crop that keep things active, that keep things ticking along before you're going to put in your plants and your food crops. Now word of caution here, often weeds will appear in a particular type of soil due to certain conditions which aren't always favourable and that's the same for the soil life as well. Often they'll appear when things are out of balance between the bacteria and the fungi. More often than not it's due to high levels of bacteria, low levels of fungi. So if you're going to use weeds as a cover crop do keep an eye on it and don't let them have a run of the patch for too long or else your microbiology in your soil, those organisms you want working away for your crops, for your food, will become out of balance and it will be a bit harder work to restore. So there we go, if you're a lazy gardener you could consider using weeds as your cover crop. But as always with these things, big word of caution, don't leave them in there too long. Now the other benefit of weeds that I want to talk about briefly is their use in adding soil organic matter. And I've mentioned this before in some other videos, it's all to do with fine root turnover. Those roots that I mentioned earlier on, binding soil aggregates together, also when you finish weeding, they're left over in traces throughout the soil. And I noticed on a number of occasions that even though I'd kind of weeded where I turned the soil over, there were lots and lots of small roots still there that are going to die off and do nothing. But more importantly, they're adding a food source for those soil organisms as well as holding a little bit of moisture as well. So over time, you can actually be helping to build more soil through allowing those weeds to grow perhaps a little bit longer than usual or just assigning over a growing area to weeds if you're not going to do anything with it for a while. Now obviously in my case here, this is an ornamental bed, it's out the front of the house, I want it to look as nice as possible and so weeding is going to always be something I envisage having to do with it, but actually my objective is to fill up this bed as quickly as possible with other plants in the near future so that it's plants doing everything I've talked about in this video rather than just weeds. So there you go. Just a few random thoughts I was having earlier in the week about weeds and how they might actually be useful in some cases and they're not always a hindrance. Maybe it will make you think a little bit differently about them. Maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for now. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and until then, I will see you.